the father of Diomedes? I am. Follow me. I am too old. Go and leave me alone. Move, you doddering idiot! You assassin! Move, I said! Let go of me! Why, you do that again and I'll kill you where you stand! Let go of him! Let go! Get out! You killed her! all the gold I could gather. If I were to loot the whole city, it'd be the same. It's impossible to carry out orders without the use of the sword. Did you hear, Fabida? Do we serve Sparta through bloodshed? The requisitions that Sparta demands are unreasonable. You seem to forget, Leonida, that when one signs a pact, it should be respected. Respected? How? The populace is starving. Sparta will continue the military occupation of Thebes until you have fulfilled your...
Go tell Gorget of our plans. He's one of us. I was told of your father and of your sister. Oh, how could anyone have wished their death? Who could it have been, Diomedes? Ask that of your father. Oh, I beg of you, Diomedes, don't torture me so. We can't stay here any longer. Please, let's go away from Thebes, far away, where we can, we can start a new life. I'll make you happy. I promise. I must return. I've sworn it. But you are right. I can't stay in thief. They're already searching for us. What about Philides? Won't he be coming with us? He'll serve us better in Thebes. Nothing as yet. He hasn't said a thing. Oh, <laughs> 
Be alarmed, old man. Just give us shelter for one night, and we'll be gone by tomorrow. didn't you? <laughs> Had you taken the main road, your trip would have been a little longer, but much dustier. Not much choice with it, Mother Dusty. Unless you want to avoid the Spartans. <laughs> Always best to avoid them. <laughs> and just what do you know about the Spartans, old man? Oh, that they take out rain. Fill the prisons with our men and steal our women. That's all I know about them. But if the gods are kind to us, I know that we Thebans uh, will find our courage once again. We will. I'm sure of it. Mind your tongue, old man. Can you be certain that we're not Spartans? Huh? Come here to spy. <laughs> <laughs> Fooled. Here, let me help you. Yeah. But, Jolly Polito, I saw you in Thebes upon your return from Olympia. Yes, it is you. But if you're not in Thebes, then, then it must mean that you plan to, to overthrow the Spartans. Isn't it so? <laughs> if I've said something wrong, Hippolyto, then correct me. No, you spoke the words of a prophet, old man. Your popularity is always intact, my dear uncle. You're an idiot. Well, can you doubt their sincerity? How much are they paid to shout? You won't forget to come to my banquet tonight. I doubt I have that time to lose. Uncle, you can't do that to me now. You promised. I already sent word to all your friends. By now you should know that I have no friends. You can't offer such an affront. I would suffer untold humiliation. Think of my political career. You'd improve it by shutting up. Just for once. <laughs> <laughs> 
As you wish, but I'm counting on you anyway. Ah, there's Phoebe now. They won't pay. Mm -hmm. You can be substituted. Substituted by whom, Fabida? Those fools who went into exile? You're only eluding yourself now. They'll not come back. You can't be certain. Divining a riddle is nothing more than a waste of time. Is there anything you can tell me? Nothing important. It's not patriotism that drives them. It's the rule of Thebes. But they'll not have it. Not for me. That is of marginal interest to me. My purpose here is to guarantee that order is kept throughout the city. To guarantee my order, that is. Any order, Leonida. Were it not for my intervention, your beloved Sparta would never have gained control of the city. Then our mutual interests should still be intact. Hail, Leonida. Ah, I see. I thought officers of your rank rested at this hour and in good company, isn't that so? Usually, yes. But not when your well-being is in danger, Leonida. Why in danger? Today, my archers caught a man trying to enter the city. He was armed. They killed the man? Young boy, I'd say. Come and have a look, Leonida. Yes, I think I will. Three swords. That's that corpse. Brings you bad luck. Don't wake him, then. Hmm? Guard! What are you doing there? Even a corpse has to be guarded? Yes, sir. Go on. Uncover it. You idiot! Arceus. <laughs> Go to Febida and tell him we must search every suspicious house. A body can disappear only if someone carries it off. <laughs> Your uncle's power of persuasion, Timothy. We may even end up loving the party. Don't get carried away. Do your uncle political connivance? I adore him. He has the heart of a little boy. Timothy, <laughs> this is appalling. Curb your laughter. Oh, alas, you misinterpret. My friends and I were only extolling the genius of my uncle Leonida. You exaggerate, Philip. Well, <laughs> Thank you, I was counting on this. Flowers to crown the political genius, the deity. Quiet, you clown. <laughs> to the deity, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seldom among happy people. <laughs> By the way, did you check the wine, my dear nephew? Government can topple drinking out of an infected cup. It's not I you mistrust, is it? Well, now you're mistrusting me. <laughs> Distract the guards. It'll give the men time to escape. Go! <laughs> Let them in. Get out. Where's Cyrene? Here I am. You can always tell a Spartan by his unusually good breeding. You're just wasting time. Of course, you wouldn't know what good breeding is. What do you want? Go on. Try searching behind the house. We'll find them, that's for sure. Well, what was that noise? Uh, the women. Maybe you'd like to rest up a while before continuing. You wench. <laughs> to the exiles. <laughs> My dear Felicity, those, those exiles must be dying of boredom. Unless they plan the death of martyrdom. And renounce all pleasures like Spartans. <laughs> the end is upon them. They're nothing but blundering idiots. They only die. What? A message from Febida. Usually Febida is catastrophic. What is it now? It's a private message. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> I've had every house searched, but we were unable to find any of them. The rebellion has already begun. 
<laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. Continue to debauch yourselves while you still can. The nation is in revolt. Polarities. Gorgida, don't keep us waiting now. We've upturned a world to liberate you. Let's go.
Let's not like you now. No matter what happens, I want you to... But why don't you listen to reason? You can't stay here in the midst of all this disorder and violence. Let it not be said that I ran away, Dorita. Now you must go. God be with you, child. Fabida will give you safe conduct. Leonida, the escort is ready. Yes, just another moment. Dorida, life is always uncertain for a man who is old. Oh, no, don't say oh, no, that. Father. Pay attention. When I die, you'll find my treasure in the Donna's hands. Whatever happens, he'll not betray you. You can count on it. And now go. Go, they're waiting. <laughs> Where are the girls? Oh, to get you to see. The girls will be here. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> oh, long last. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh. No longer any Spartans there. We checked it. Then let's go. We're wasting time. He suspects me. It's best I stay here. Let's go while the people are still fighting. What? And what about the people? Aren't we supposed to help them fight? There's no point in that. Only when the owner is dead can we deal with Bebby. Why don't you understand that the only way to deal with Bebby is to fight? And how? With those idiots out there? Go ahead and join them if you like. You'd abandon the people of Spartan rule. While you would abandon them to sure death. Hippolyto, I'm sure we can make it. We own it is alone. Let's go, Apollo. If we have to kill him, then let's kill him. The perfect solution. You can go right ahead. I'll join those so-called idiots that have sustained you until now. I'll kill him. Wait. It's all right. Let him prepare the people for us. <laughs> Guarantee that the Spartans will not be harmed. 
It's in our own interest to guarantee it. Yes, but who will answer for Diomedes? He's a threat. I think he can be convinced. But I have no intention of waiting until he's convinced. Well, then, I ask you to give me Diomedes, dead or alive. And why not? Don't be stupid. Who has the right to be Diomedes' master? I guess it's a matter of price, then. Not for a Theban. Should we be ready to sell? Are you ready to pay? Let's not forget that Theomedes is, is one of us. That's enough. I said I want him, and here's why you'll give him up. I think by now you realize that without Sparta's help, you'll not be able to govern. Oh, there's no love lost between us, but uh, since you'll need Sparta, I want Theomedes. I suppose it's a fair exchange. However, inasmuch as we govern jointly, it'll be put to a majority vote. Go ahead, talk. You were about to say? I was about to say that Sparta will protect us and make certain that everything is under our complete command. That is, if our Theban soldiers will not disrupt the order and if Yes. Speak up. One would say you're embarrassed. Our people in Sparta don't mix, is that it? Maybe it's you who doesn't mix instead. That's a big speech, Gorgida. Sounds like you're doing. I'll not deny it, yes. You forget so easily what it was that held us together. Wasn't it our ambition to rule this land to our satisfaction? On Sparta's behalf, that means you would have to go against the people. I'll join you. But on one condition, that you honor the democracy. A government where everyone participates and takes active part, not a political tool to line our own pockets. You're being childish. I occasion childishness. But you, Apollo, give rise to pity. You were destined to be the heart of our thieves. Instead, you're its traitor. Stop! Diomedes, come now. Try to be practical. If you bide your time, you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Please reconsider. I have already, at length. In that case, you'll be killed! What was that? And what will happen to you when everyone discovers that you and Philarides have control over all trade with Sparta? That's the truth! Say that again! So help me, I'll kill you! You don't deny it. Your only concern is getting caught. Why should you care now that you're so well settled in this government? Why? <laughs> Hold on. That's it, Apollo. I regret that we have reached this hour. But from now on, consider me your enemy.
Go now. Listen to me, daughter. I'm aware of your grief. But you know I never condone the actions taken against your father. Why do you refuse to see me? Your hate killed him, Diomedes. It's your fault. It was you who gave us the illusion that we could be free of Sparta. And what did you gain? Nothing. You promised me happiness and I believed you. But in vain. I'll not believe you again. And now, please go. Farewell, daughter. Where will you go? As the people celebrated the death of your father, now they lament the tyrannical rule of the polis and the others. There is no longer the will to fight for liberty. For it, I lost your love. But I'll continue, daughter. I'll fight even if it means losing my life. No, don't go. Don't go. They'll kill you. so afraid. If I don't go, our sacrifice, our lives will have been useless. <laughs> Prestige is threatened. I'll be taken for a fool. You understand? I do. Hmm. We can best stop the armadies then by uh, destroying his bases. If we destroy, burn every village to the ground, the armadies will be at our mercy. To capture an individual, you forsake the entire population out there. I forsake no one. Neither you nor I can countermand an order from Sparta. Just what are you talking about? The instructions I received today from the military command in Sparta. Martial law has been proclaimed. Your government will be placed under Spartan military control until every last rebel is killed. No, you can't belittle our authority to this extent. But Sparta can. You'll never be I able to answer our question without our help. Ridiculous, then. We're just puppets. It's Sparta's beck and call. That's your own affair. You see, gentlemen, one more error, and I'll be through also. But wait, wait Bebida, you leave us no alternative. I assure you, gentlemen, the course to take in such cases is best answered through total and blind obedience. Forgiveness, Diomedes, and to please take me back with you. 
You needn't ask forgiveness. But you can't remain here. When a man is engaged in war, he shouldn't be distracted. And you would certainly succeed in doing just that. However, if I would be of a certain use, perhaps you could allow this one exception. Let me help you first. And then I'll, I'll go away. And how do you propose to help me? Diomedes. I've taken possession of my father's wealth. What? Now you can buy the weapons you need and pay those who fight with you. No, Dorrit, I can't take it. Why should you be deprived of your money? I believe in your ideal, Diomedes. But you're not obliged. Yes, I am. You? Yes. It was my father's will that I join you. Then I have no doubt. We will win, Dorrit. Started the Thebans. Where? Near the swamp. Just beyond that open area. They're encamped all along the edge. <laughs> the only game they really enjoy is playing at war. So long as they fight for an ideal. You'd be better off in a safer place. Geometry. Oh, the mercenary. The Spartans have entered the swamp, and I have an idea. Then welcome back, Gisone. Take a few men into the marshes and attack the Spartans straight on. If I know their habits, they'll quickly head for dry land. And I'll be there to welcome them. on my return. I have little time to waste on the likes of you. We'll meet again. Valerides, where are you going? To Diomedes. I'll have his head if it's the last thing I do. You have my word. Hold on. I'll go with you. What does Sebeda hope to gain by destroying the countryside? It's obvious. Eliminate our source of food. Thus, hunger turns to weakness, and weakness to submission. And as things stand, he has every probability of succeeding. Our only choice, then, is to take the Spartans by surprise and do the unexpected. Get out of the swamps and fight on open land. Oh, that's absurd. You can never hope to be the Spartan in the open. That's his kind of fight you'd be playing into his head. Exactly. <laughs> they were in the woods. They say they're friends. Stubborn lodger surrounded by the Amides. They wouldn't believe a word we said. They'll pay for this treatment. They are two of the original seven. What do you want? Why are you here? Because we're tired of the Polito. Tell him. He'll believe you, Androcles. Most of all, we're here, Philarides and I, because we feel you were right. Believe me. Knowing you, Androcles, I'm ready to believe. But Philarides... Huh? But... You... You mean you don't trust me? Only if Androcles will vouch for you. I... I vouch for him naturally. Then welcome. Welcome to my camp. Where are you taking us?
What is it? Let's dismount. You hear them sing? They sing and they drink, for tomorrow they hope to find the favor of the gods and in so doing avoid death. I've known these songs since I was a little girl. They're the songs of the last hour. Tomorrow you'll remain here. Dorda. Do you really think that possible? No. I'm grateful to my destiny, whatever it may be. For it's life or death that awaits us at dawn's end. Dawn's light is an hour away. Have you lost faith? No. Oh, Diomedes, I only want this to be the most beautiful hour we've ever known. And tomorrow, when you're in battle, remember that my destiny is yours. If you're to win, then I win. If you're defeated, I'll be defeated. Whatever your destiny, whether you live or die, oh, Diomedes, I love you, Hebe. Daughter. All shall go well. We're no longer alone. We have each other.
The cavalry is closing in. Get to your command. Hurry.
Diomedes. He's making you move according to his design. Poor idiot. He's anticipating his own end. By chasing after my cavalry, he spares my foot troops, which are of much greater value. Fabida, they're not expecting us to attack at this time. We could take them unaware. No, we're just as worn as they are now. I'll attack when he does. Sooner or later, he's bound to wear out. Make ready. We got through their cavalry, but I I don't see how we'll get by them in an open camp. You have my word, Diomedes. We'll fight to the last man. So let's get moving. They're coming in, Diomedes. They're in close order. Our troops in battle formation. Hurry! Move on! Gods of Olympus, let the power of Ares stay within us. Sons of Sparta, bring glory to your deity. Cast the enemy in the dark labyrinth of shame. And may those of us who fall today meet at your side in victory and in glory together. Pepida, Spartan general descendant of Hercules, shall concede honorary citizenship of Sparta to the Thebian, who shall dare to uproot this flag.
Point on.
Diomedes, I followed you here and I, I thought I'd never see you again. is no longer a threat. Spartan rule has ended. Why continue fighting each other? If Polito is our only enemy, we are all Thetans, my brothers. He's right, we are all Thetans. Why must we continue fighting against each other? Yes, we're Thetans. We're Thetans. We're brothers, one and all. Long live thieves! Lay down your arms, thieves! Stay where you are, you're traitors! No, we're thieves! Long live thieves! Long, Long live thieves! Long live thieves! Long live thieves. Long live thieves. Go! Oh. 